Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Good evening, Eagle Nation. Jake Oker coming to you today in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to every teacher at Rusk ISD for all that you do for our kids. As far as Rusk Elementary goes, there's one teacher in particular, actually two, but one I want to touch on first would be Mrs. Rita Tucker. Um, Mrs. Tucker was one of my favorite teachers of all time. Uh, you knew from day one when you got to her class that it was going to be fun. She made you look forward to coming to school. She made it fun, and more than anything, she made you feel loved. She treated you like family, and you felt like one of her own kids. Uh, one of my favorite stories from Mrs. Tucker's class, or most memorable stories, would be when she allowed a student to bring a real snake to school in a glass jar, the glass jar getting dropped, and the snake getting loose during show and tell. Um, I can credit her today for my absolute fear of snakes, so for that, Mrs. Tucker, I still say thank you. Um, Secondly, Mrs. Lula May Sessions, um, if you've been on the Rusk Elementary campus in the last 20 plus years, then you've seen Mrs. Lula May and never have you seen her when she didn't have a big smile on her face and her arms open waiting for a hug. Um, she's just a key piece of that campus and someone that we can't replace. Thank you for being a friend. Travel So before Ms. Welch was a principal or a counselor, she was um, an eighth grade teacher. She was actually my eighth grade algebra teacher. And I think that something that has really um, just highlighted Ms. Welch is her compassion. Compassion. Yeah, compassion for all of her students. And I think that that is just something that she's carried through each role at Rusk ISD is a true compassion for all of the students. And I think probably Ms. Welch right now is not worried about grades, testing, curriculum, any of that. I think that what is on Miss Welch's mind is the um, just the emotional state and the physical well-being of all of her of all of her kids because um, she has a true compassion for each and every one of them. And so for that, we thank you, Miss Welch. Um, we love you, and thank you for all that you've done throughout the many years for Rusk Independent School District. I also had Miss Bowling in third grade, and I miss you so much. I also had Miss Bowling, and she was just one of the kindest teachers I ever had. And I miss her. And I also love Miss Lula. I love you, and I miss you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you for all the years Thank all. that y'all worked. Hey, Miss Welch, it's me, LaRonda. I was just stopping by to tell you Happy Teachers Appreciation Week. You are the best. I met Miss Welch in 1999, and she's actually been my go-to person ever since. Um, she was there for me when I lost my family. She always was that one to tell me, you know, LaRonda, you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it, and that has stuck with me ever since. Miss Welch, keep being that wonderful principal you are, and I love you so much. Mwah. Hi, Miss Jenkins. I like being in your class for second grade, and I miss you and your class, and I hope I'll get to see y'all soon. Goodbye. In Rusk Elementary, I had some amazing teachers who helped me make some great memories. One of my favorites being in second grade in Miss Padgett's class, when everyone would bring blankets and pillows, and we would all talk and eat snacks and have fun with our friends. Thank you, Rusk Elementary, for making those years. In school, when I had Miss Tarlington as my teacher. It was either the star test or some big test that we had back then that fell directly on my birthday. We took a break in the middle of it and she gave me a cupcake for my birthday. And yeah, since then she's been my favorite, or one of my favorite teachers and one of the sweetest. So I had the amazing privilege to get to work with my second grade teacher, Miss Massengale. I remember being late to her class almost every day because my aunt Elodie brought me to school. And I also remember back then that I knew what her first name was because my daddy went to school with her. I also have the privilege of getting to work with one of my second grade classmates, 
Miss Oliver. Um, it is just, it's a great experience to get to work with these amazing ladies and the rest of the staff at Rusk Elementary. I love, love my job and I miss y'all and I can't wait. Hey guys, it's Hey guys, it's Allie and today I'm talking to you about an amazing teacher called Miss Caitlin. So, um, the number one reason why she was a nice person was anytime I was feeling down and I always go to her office and she knew exactly what to say. Second reason is because she always had a positive attitude and I, it was just a good, really good role model and a person, a fun loving person having to my life. And of course, third reason is because she was a good role model. She was a very kind, sweet, and patient person and I could tell her anything and she would always know what to say. So that is why Miss Kahalen is an amazing teacher. Well, I'm Edrin. Hello, I'm Elijah. And I have Miss Sunday for an elementary teacher. And she was the best teacher that I ever had. And she was a great teacher. She was a great teacher. She was the best teacher I had all of my, all of my grades. And um, I loved her because she was awesome. And she made class and school fun. I'm her favorite. No, I'm her favorite. Uh, most definitely her favorite. No, I'm her favorite. You you can't say that because I'm, I'm her, her favorite. favorite. I'm, I'm her, her favorite. favorite. I'm her favorite. I will never forget the joy in my students' faces when Miss Welch walked into my fourth grade classroom. Um, she hadn't seen these students in over a year, and they all got up out of their seats, ran over to her, gave her the biggest hug, and she greeted each one of them by name. She always makes sure her students know how much she loves each and every one of them, even on their hardest days. And that's one of the many reasons I look up to her as an educator. Thanks for all you do, and thank you to all you teachers. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Hi, I'm Jemaya, and the teacher I'll be talking about is Miss Green. Miss Green was my third grade teacher, and I remember her class like it was yesterday. Every day in Miss Green's class was a blast, regardless of what we were doing. She taught us to do the right thing no matter the circumstances. She was, and still is, loving, and gives the best hugs ever. I appreciate Miss Green, and I'm so very thankful to have had her as a teacher. I love you, Miss Green. I remember me always laughing with Miss Kalchik, Miss Sunday, and Miss Lee due to their friendliness. I love you. This video is for Miss Halen or for any other teachers from grades before now. Trust me, a lot of kids want to go back to your grade. So, trust me, you are appreciated. Don't ever second guess. I like being in Miss Linda and Miss Kolchik's class because they encourage me to want to learn more. Thank you for all the things you've taught me. One of my favorite teachers was Miss Moore, my second grade teacher. She was always just the kindest, sweetest lady, and she always made us laugh. I loved being in her class, and I want to thank her for everything she taught me. Yeah, okay, yeah. I want to say last first. Okay, go, Jay Thank you, uh, thank you to all of us, uh, elementary school teachers. My favorite teacher is Miss Sunday. All righty. Thank you to all the rest of the elementary school teachers. My favorite teacher was Miss Green. Okay, tell me your name. Oh, Callie. Callie, all right. Y'all want to get in? I enjoyed Miss Nichols' class because she was nice, kind, and my favorite teacher in the whole school. Also, I loved how she taught GT. Thank you, West Gale Elementary. I had a great year. I hope I miss y'all and I had a Thank you for being everything I needed. I love you so much and I miss you. Williams and Miss Jenkins encouraged me to do my very best. Thank you and I love you. Hey Miss Sunday, I miss you. One of my favorite memories of you is us dancing in the classroom. I love you and I miss you and you made character had fun. We, we love, love and miss and all, all of our teachers. teachers. Have a great summer. Okay. Thank y'all. I remember back in third grade how me, Janiah, and Brayden Grounds will always compete to see who can get the best dojo points, who can answer the best like math questions in math class, and I just love and miss you, Miss Wick. Hey, Crystal Nichols here, coming to you in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. Throughout my years at Rusk ISD, I had several, several amazing teachers. One teacher I'd like to talk about today is Miss Debbie Welch. Miss Welch was my eighth grade algebra teacher back in 2002, so several years ago. 
And um, one thing that I can tell you about eighth grade algebra, it was fun. It was fun and engaging. Um, I was not a math person, but Miss Welch, she made me a math person. I absolutely loved math during eighth grade algebra. Uh, she spent time with us. She um, would visit us before school, after school, to make sure that we understood everything about algebra. Um, during the class, I remember getting in small groups, doing fun activities to make sure that we understood. It was just so interactive, so engaging. It was such a fun, fun class. Um, I remember close to the end of the year, she gathered every single eighth grade algebra student in her class. We were all in there together, and she made an announcement that each and every one of us had passed our end of course algebra exam. We were screaming. We were so excited. She was so excited and happy for us. We worked hard for that test, and it paid off, and her hard work paid off. I do believe that's also the year that she received um, a Teacher of the Year award. So, um, Ms. Walsh, you're amazing. You're still an amazing teacher, a leader. I had the opportunity to work beside you now as a principal. What you did for me back in eighth grade helped me become who I am today. And for that, I appreciate you. Thanks. Miss Cattle Shack and Miss Sunday always showed me love. I want to give a shout out to Miss Tammy Raspberry. She was my third grade teacher. She was just such a joy. I loved going to her class every single day. She really embraced our individuality, and she would help us with the stuff that we had trouble with. Me, personally, I could not do multiplication for the life of me. I still can't. I'm glad that we have calculators. But she would help me, and she would try her hardest and her best to try and make us all feel like we were there. She never left anybody out, and she was always there for us no matter what. So my memory is of Miss Bowling in third grade. I was in a group project with Lathan and Tarrant, and it was about habitats. We had snakes, and Miss Bowling was scared of snakes. So we cut out pictures of snakes, <laughs> and we put them all over her room, and she freaked out when she found one because it took her forever to find all of them. That's all. I'm excited to go to Rusk Elementary next year. I hope you have a good teacher appreciation week. Hi, guys. Since it's teacher appreciation week, I want to share with you all a little story. So, it was in third grade. I had Miss Cook and Miss Shuttlesworth. And... One day we got to school, and our teacher, and Ms. Shuttlesworth, had a gumball factory, and it was really fun. And then we went to the next class, and Ms. Cook had a cave. The cave was really fun, but my favorite part about it was the gumball factory, where you did things and you would get candy. And it was really fun, so thanks for being the best teachers ever. Hey, Ms. Kralchek, some of my favorite things about you or your personality and how much we both love math. I hope to see you soon. I just want to thank the elementary teachers that taught me and prepared me for intermediate. I love y'all and hope y'all have a great teacher appreciation week. I just want to thank all my teachers, Ms. Bowling, Ms. Blackman, Ms. Kalachek, Ms. Sunday, Ms. Corley, Stanley, all the teachers, thank you. Wait, she did it on my part. Hannah, you can Hannah, go next. Come on, Alejandra. I'm skinny. I would like to thank Miss Bowling, Miss Blackman, and Miss Su Sunday, Miss Kadochek, and Miss Domini, and Miss Lozano, and the principal. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. You're the best. Las dos juntas. You're the best ones. Thank oh. you. We miss you so much. Bye. Thank you, Miss Brogdon, for being so caring and nice. You gave me a lot of confidence during the school year. I remember you were always so funny and creative. I miss you, Miss Brogdon. Hi, I'm Megan, and I 
does have the U.S. Mastodon in this form. broken arms. Miss Corley let me hang out in the library since I couldn't do gym. And another memory of the elementary school is uh, when Miss Brogdon's class won the um, field day. So I miss and love hugs from Miss Boudreaux and I miss and love me and Miss Albert West. Go! Okay, so I was that kid that loved school, and I can tell you every teacher that I had and a memory about each teacher. Um, each teacher that I had impacted me in, um, in great. My second grade teacher was pretty spectacular. Um, she is someone that I admire greatly, and she's someone that I get to work with um, each and every day at Rusk Elementary School. Um, Miss Massengill um, is the same today as she was yesterday. She, not to mention um, she hasn't aged a bit either, but um, she is stern, but she's loving, and um, she sets very high expectations for her students, and she still does that today. So one vivid memory that I have of second grade in Miss Massengill, Massengill's class was learning cursive, which was a huge deal. I remember being so excited to learn cursive, um, and it was just one of those things that um, you kind of had to do. Um, and I fell in the tire on the playground, and I broke my right hand. So um, I hit it for like a day, and like carried my books on the other side and um, hit it from my parents and hit it from my teacher because I thought like if you broke your wrist like it was gone so I just kind of pretend like it didn't happen and then after a day or two they realized something was wrong and so when I got back to class I was so bummed because it was really hard to learn cursive with a broken right hand so I uh, remember her being um, very encouraging about, um, you know, forming the letters just right and sitting up straight and my posture. Um, but at the same time, she didn't cut me any slack just because I had a cast on my hand. Um, I was still learning it and I was going to do it correctly. Um, and those are some things that um, I think um, are still fabulous about her today because she has high expectations and um, she wants all of her students to be successful. I also remember like just soaking up everything she did like I just thought she hung the moon um, and just um, I'd get off the bus in the afternoons at the junior high in my mom's classroom and I would play school in her classroom until you know it was time to go home but I like mimicked Miss Massengill's every move I probably acted just like her and I would you know mock her calling on students and reading aloud and um, just everything she did um, I just um, thought she was pretty spectacular. So thank you, Miss Massengill, for um, not only teaching me, but you also got to teach my daughter Ainsley. And um, thank you for you know your service at Rusk ISD and to all the teachers at Rusk Elementary School. Thank you for making a difference. Hi, Miss Peters. Hi, Miss Lee. I love you and I miss you and I hope I can see you again at school next One year. One of my favorite memories from the elementary school is when Miss Brogdon would make us go outside and practice tug of war for field day and also when Mr. K during star test he covered everything up except for Mona Lisa's eyes. Since it's teacher appreciation week I would like to talk about Miss Moore from the elementary school. I had her as my second grade teacher and it was awesome. She was super funny. She, one day for school she showed up with a robe on, curlers in her hair, and her slippers. Everybody laughed. It was super funny but I just wanted to share that with y'all. Bye. Hello, Miss Williams. I'm glad that I got to be in your class for second grade, and I miss y'all, and I hope I'll see y'all guys soon. Goodbye. Debo was my eighth grade algebra teacher, and while I did not care for any kind of math, uh, I always enjoyed going to her class. Uh, she always made it interesting and fun. 
Um, my favorite was uh, when she was my eighth grade cheerleading sponsor, her and Teresa, Miss Gates. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun, a lot of good memories with that. <laughs> uh, she's just a wonderful person. Um, she makes you feel good about yourself. She's always so uplifting, upbeat, um, always there for you no matter what you need. Um, my <laughs> favorite is, I guess, most embarrassing memory I was recently reminded of was the great silver shiny pant experience. Um, yeah, I owned some silver shiny metallic pants and I was not supposed to wear to school. Uh, I wore them to school anyways. Um, when my dad ended up coming up to the school and thankfully Debo and Miss Gates had my back and were able to hide me in time to get my pants changed. And I think to this day, my parents probably still don't know that I wore those awful things to school. Um, <laughs> it's quite embarrassing. But uh, I'm just um, very thankful to have had Debo in my life. Um, just a wonderful part of my childhood and still to this day just care so much about her and love her. Um, she's just a great mentor, just a good role model and a wonderful teacher and I'm sure a wonderful principal as well. Um, happy teacher appreciation to you, Debo. You deserve it more than anybody. And keep on rocking.